I've generated millions of dollars in sales from my clients using email marketing. It wouldn't be possible without email campaigns. That's why in this video I'll show you what is the high converting email campaign structure and how to set it up quickly. Now, if this is the first time you meet me, my name is Konrad Wysocki and I've been able to generate over 7 figures in sales from multiple e-commerce brands just from email marketing. I post weekly detailed videos to help e-commerce brand owners grow their business without relying on paid ads. So this is the exact structure that we always use. Let's start with it. You always start the email with the logo itself. People need to know where the email is coming from, who is sending it, etc. Like it's just straightforward and self-explanatory. Then we go with hero image plus headline. It usually talks about the main idea of the email. I will show you in a second what I mean by that. But the hero image plus headline need to be aligned with what the email is gonna be about and sell like the big premise of the email. So for example, if you are doing a huge sale, you could be like, okay, flash sale 20% off uh, with code sale 20, shop now, call to action, right? And these three parts are always above default, whether that's desktop or mobile, for both of the devices, you need to have these sections, these three sections above default. The reason is that people may be already sold in some cases. So if they see a logo, they're like, okay, I like this brand, uh, I'm familiar with them. Then see the hero image plus headline, they're like, okay, I like it. And then they're just, okay, I wanna in. So you need to give them the opportunity to buy now. That's why we always include those three parts and it's critical that you include all three of them, not only two, but you need to include all three above default. And above default is pretty much a space where someone opens the email, does they, what they can see uh, without scrolling down. That's why you need to have it right above default. Then we go with body, uh, just like a copy for your email, don't make it too hard to read. So if you have a bunch of paragraphs, what I would suggest you do is try to make it uh, easier to read, so like try to make it scannable, you can just make it choppy, you know, sentence by sentence, use spacing, spacing is very important in emails, just don't make it everything like you really concise in one place, because if people open the email and they're like, okay, this is a huge wall of text, I'm not gonna read that, they'll just click away and never read the email, so make it easy to read and choppy. Uh, if you have a really a, a lot of copy, just try to maybe include some columns where you have image on the left, copy on the right, and like try to switch it. So copy on uh, copy on the left, image on the right, and so on and so on. Try to play with that. But usually, I would try to recommend it. Uh, I recommend you just do very short copy and concise, choppy, scannable, and then call to action again. So pretty much, someone opens the email as they're like, okay, I see where it's coming from. Uh, I like the idea, but I'm not ready to buy it. Then you need to do a little bit more convincing in the body, and they're like, okay, I'm sold, I'm buying. That's why you need call to action after this section as well. Then you have reviews, testimonial product section. So those five parts never change. Like if you send an email, you always have those five parts, no matter what. In some cases, you may not have those two. If it's like you know just one uh, one p design slice email like huge sale and people don't need more info, but I still like to include those five parts always. It's just better for conversion rate and like for the overall relationship with customers. These parts uh, are interchangeable, so you can change them. You don't have to include all of them. Uh, for example, you could just include include product section. So if you have some new arrivals, you would include these five parts, and then uh, you'd have product section. For example, five you know pieces of products showing new arrivals. Then you also have testimonies and reviews. You could also showcase like between one, three, or if it's longer success story, and before it's gonna be between one or three. If it's shorter, it's gonna be between three and five. But then again, you have one of those sections, so you can choose which one you want to have, and then call to action. And then footer. In the footer, you always want to have unsubscribe link plus manage preferences. I always like to include the logo as well, plus some icons talking about the you know benefits or USP or features, for example. But like overall, not of the, not of the product you know, benefits, but of the overall brand. So for example, free shipping on orders over 100 bucks, uh, hassle-free returns, money-back guarantee, whatever it may be. Just make sure you include them. It boosts the conversion rate as well, and some people click it. Uh, now, if you want to make the email longer, you can have obviously one of those parts, for example, you would do reviews, then call to action, then you would have, have product section, call to action, and the email itself will be longer. I don't recommend doing more than that, which is, for example, product section, call to action, and then you can do reviews and call to action, but adding more would make the email slightly too long. Uh, again, depending on what the you know, idea of the email is, but this structure works well for me always. So now how to go about it in Klaviyo. This is one of the templates made by Klaviyo, I'm not gonna lie, I edited it slightly. 
but I'm not a designer myself. I have a team doing beautiful designs. They're absolutely gorgeous and convert well. I just always guide them on the structure and how to, you know, uh, not how to do the email from the graphic sign part, but how to structure it to make sure it converts well. This is why I'm gonna show you how to build it in Clavio as well. So the logo, as talked about before, uh, you can make it smaller or bigger, depending on what you prefer. I like to make sure it's always visible. So I probably I will just upload better image for this logo because it's not that quite visible but I tried to make it shorter to make sure that all of the parts that I was talking about before are above default. So as you can see, call to action, hero image plus headline plus logo are all above default. So if someone opens the email this is exactly what they see and if someone already loves your brand they're gonna buy it right away so they don't really need to scroll down and see the other parts of the emails. Same goes for mobile. As well, above default, they will see these parts, which is critical, absolutely important. And yeah, then you have hero image plus headline. So again, just an image with the idea, uh, memorial del sale, insane. Uh, you can also, for example, you could have an image alone and then memorial del sale and so on and so on right there, like below. But I like to have it on the image because it looks just better. Uh, and then, so the template itself didn't have this part, but I added it on my own. If you're running a sale, you want to remove confusion. So if you're running a sale, people are gonna be okay. Like, how much uh, are uh, what are the, what is the discount? How much is off? What is the code I need to use? Right. So if you're running a side wide sale, it's always good to have it. Again, uh, I always like to mention the um, the percentage that you're running the discount because some people may okay click okay I want to see what it is one like ah oh, okay it's only 15% and they're gonna click off so you might have less clicks but there will be more qualified and qualified and ultimately you're gonna make more sales make more money so that's why I recommend doing that and you also want to include the code right there even if you have it in the header on your website or whatever you want to remove the confusion so people know it is a sale they know how much they're gonna save and what is the code they need to use if you're running store wide sale you would say, you would say save 20% of site-wide note code needed. You want to include that so people aren't confused that they know exactly what to do and you're just leading them step by step. Call to action pretty straightforward, uh, just directing them to the page and then body as I said, uh, this is just a copy. It could be slightly longer, this one is super short but it's okay, it can be that short as well and this is a, it's acting as a button even though it doesn't look like but yeah let's say it's button so the structure should be followed as you can see. Logo uh, hero image, then call to action, then body, then call to action. Perfect. I mean, not the, uh, the whole design itself is not perfect, but the structure itself is very, very good. So this is what's important uh, right now. Then we go about product section. So obviously you could do a dynamic section from Clavio, but personally I don't like doing that because sometimes it can be messy. Uh, you're also kind of limited with the images of the products. So what I like to do is to have a static section link the products themselves. So you can do it by simply just dragging a section, adding columns, uh, which is like simple split equal, and then it would be just drag and drop uh, image plus then uh, text copy like text block right and then call to action which is button as well so let's just me copy that uh, and this is how you would go about it very straightforward very simple to very easy to set up and yeah this is how it looks like so again product section are pretty easy images are uh, you know tell what is the collection or the product itself so in this case i just assume that you're running a jewelry brand it would be rings necklaces it would be shop rings shop necklaces whatever you could also include other sections so we usually want to include the products or collections I like to include anywhere between four and five, four and six, sorry. Uh, two is usually not that great, unless you have like, you're limited with the collections on your store, then obviously it's better than nothing, but if you have a lot of collections, a lot of products, anywhere between four and six is great. And then call to action is right there, so the structure itself is also uh, pretty well. Obviously you could add more reviews, testimonials below, but for now this email itself is looking very good in terms of structure. For the footer, uh, you want to include social links icons, which is great, but then you also need to include unsubscribe links so people can, people can unsubscribe whenever they want to. It's gonna uh, it's gonna affect your deliverability in a good way because they are not getting you marked as spam. Uh, let's say someone doesn't want to receive emails from you and you don't have unsubscribe section, people are just gonna mark you as spam so they are not receiving the emails anymore and you don't want to do that. That's why you always want to make sure you have it in the footer and they'll also include the icons as I said before showing like okay uh, these are for example free shipping, uh, hustle free returns, over 5k, 5 star reviews, whatever it may be, that's how it go about it. Then optimize it for mobile, always try to adjust the buttons and images and text and everything else. Uh, with product section you could do like you know uh, item, uh, 
text but button, but you could also do not stacking it. So you could unstack it. So without stacking it, uh, the button looks terrible, but you would fix that within this button settings. But yeah, this is how you could do it as well. If you have big images of the products, you can do it like that. So the email itself looks, uh, looks shorter. It's totally up to you. And one uh, tip for optimizing for mobiles is that when you go to styles, you can check it uh, right there. So for example, you have text and headings. This is for desktop. So you have it set it up to, uh, as you can see, I'm changing it right there uh, on the left uh, in the column and the text itself is changing as well. So you set it once there in styles, then you change it as well as the mobile, for example, on 16 pi 14 pixels. And as you can see, I'm not changing anything. Uh, and the text here, this one was done uh, by Clavio, but it was changing the uh, display. But then you can see uh, that I'm changing it right there and it's changing there as well. So yeah, one thing, one way to go about it is to go to display options and display it on the mobile. But I like to edit styles so that it's just way faster and more convenient. So if you want, if you were to do it like that, like they, uh, like we've done it, so you would just take the text, um, drag and drop the, the, you know, the, the block, paste the text, and it should be changed on mobile as well. Yeah. So as you can see, it's slightly smaller. I'll just delete that, and then you are not playing with displaying options, etc. But you are just making sure that this style is good, and then whenever you change it there, uh, all text is gonna change. So we have a small tip for optimizing for mobile, and again, make sure that you have a lot of spacing in the email itself. You want to make sure there's a lot of the white space. Uh, I know it may sound counterintuitive. Obviously, don't make it too long, but like ultimately, you want to have some white space so it looks better. Uh, and it's way more digestible and skimmable. So yeah, this is how I go about the high converting structure. It works extremely well. I'll link the, thing in the, video, link, link the doc in the video description below so you can always use it and follow the structure. It's very easy, very simple, but it works extremely well. Well, it's very solid. As you can see, email campaigns are an ideal way to make more sales while increasing your AOV and LTV without spending more money on that. My team and I can help you create beautiful emails that convert well. All you have to do is book a call with me using the link in the video description down below. If you want to learn more about Klaviyo or email marketing flows, I have two playlists that will help you with that. Make sure you check them out. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe and see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.